taking a look right now at Haynes Brothers Square Grand. Um, finished the cabinet work on this piano, and it has really been a task. This piano was very rough when started, and um, I don't. The probably the worst thing about it is I don't think I uh, made a video of the before on this piano. I did show a couple of problem areas in a previous video, but um, there should be plenty more of these coming. So I'll, uh, as time permits, I'll get a little better with that. But uh, this piano uh, turned out pretty good. Uh, I love this rosewood. It's a very pretty veneer, and uh, if you know, if you like the. Uh, look of uh, wood grain. I uh, wanted to show here. Um, let's just bring it around. A uh, couple of things here. Uh, one is the back of this piano. In uh, in the last video of this piano, you probably noticed that it was a big problem area. So, I mean, there was no veneer on it. And uh, here you see a uh, new veneer attached. And color match to the piano. You can see the uh, color there, and then uh, so it's it's a color match here, new veneer, and also uh, problem areas along the side of the case. Um, grab a little light here. Maybe I like that a little bit. An area here that uh, was missing, um, and you'll see this on the previous video. There was also an area missing here uh, that was filled in. Um, also, around the front, there were some problem areas, and along here, you see that's been. Uh, corrected and uh, probably one of the worst besides the back actually not even having veneer on it was this area here and uh, like I say you take a look at the previous video on this piano and you'll see where um, this wasn't even here so uh, that's that. I also want to take a quick shot of the soundboard in the previous video. You'd notice this was either covered or, uh, if I had it exposed, it was not done. But I did add a, a repair to crack here. You can see along here where the repair was done. And I do have other videos showing the process of that. Um, I don't know if I need to do that over and over again. Um, but. Long story short, that's it, and uh, I'll probably personally string this piano. Uh, we'll just see how things go. Um, but uh, keep an eye out for some other videos. Uh, I don't know if I'll post any more on this piano just because of the time constraints. I may post a little bit on the stringing. But uh, in any case, uh, if you have any comments, you can comment on this video right below the uh, screen there of the uh, of what you're seeing um, or you can go to twitter.com if you have a Twitter account um, and post at Beavers Piano. I also got a forum. Um, there's some older stuff there. I haven't been adding a whole lot of stuff there recently just because I've been so busy but uh, you're more than welcome to go there and check out some of the content there as well. So uh, thanks for watching, and just keep an eye out for some more stuff. Uh, we've uh, got several Steinways that uh, are going to be uh, worked here. We uh, have a Beck Stein we're working on now, um, or not working on now, but will be soon. Um, uh, Chickering, there are several pianos um, in the works or queued up to be worked on. and. Uh, just look out for those. They'll be posted uh, coming up here in the next uh, next few weeks. Thanks for watching.